All right, everybody, welcome to Case in the Joint. We are joined today by no other than Amber Paradin of Team Springdale. Amber, how are you? Doing very well. Thank you. But we're here because of tacos. And uh, there's a whole story that we're going to get into later about the, the whole idea. You've heard of Taco Tico and how uh, Tico is actually what tacos really are. But we'll talk about that later. But we're talking about the Springdale Taco Tour, which is something that is just like caught fire. What is it and what it's all about? What is it all about? Um, essentially, we wanted to just highlight some of the finest eateries that we felt like Springdale had to offer, and those are the taquerias. And so they offer some of the most authentic uh, food and people um, and experiences that you can have in Springdale. And so instead of um, them kind of being a, this ambiguous thing, um, we decided to kind of flip that on its head and, and you know, fling the doors open and let people come in and, and try it. And so that's what the taco tour was was. That, that was the root of our attempt to try to get people in the doors of the taquerias. Look at the rich, beautiful, edible culture of Springdale. Come in and try it and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, you said that beautifully. That's exactly what we wanted to do. We want people to, to experience these authentic foods that are just right here in our backyard. Um, and sometimes, you know, I felt like at least the story was, you know, three or four years ago when we started the taco tour, um, it, and this has been my experience, the taquerias were something I wasn't quite familiar with. I wasn't sure if that was something that um, I should walk into, uh, you know, I, I just, so I felt like once we kind of broke that barrier, we were trying to break down those walls for everyone else and say, that, that these are small businesses that need your support just like anyone else, and, and they have some of the most authentic and beautiful foods, so. It's a beautiful thing. I mean, it's very altruistic in nature. Um, and speaking of beautiful things, this young man is going to make his way over with, I believe, some oysters. Oh my gosh, those are gorgeous. And these oysters, sir, and, and these oysters did, I believe, they're authentic and they came from Beaver Lake, correct? No, that's not true. Is that true? He's like, no, that's not true. Okay, I totally made that up. Uh, the first stop, Charlie's Taqueria. A lot of a lot of taquerias. I don't know that any other ones really have oysters like this. I don't think they do. So we have oysters here, and they've kind of churched them up with a little pico de gallo and some avocado. Also, your sopes, which is one of your favorites, and we have the carnitas as well as the chorizo, which is the traditional Mexican sausage that's so fantastic. Of course, the hibiscus drink, which I love hibiscus, and it's actually supposed to be pretty good for you too. Beautiful chips and salsa, and then finally the creme de la creme, the michelada. The michelada is like a bloody beer, so it's like almost like a bloody mary, but you actually do it with Mexican beer. All right, I want to thank you, Amber Paradin, for today's tour of Springdale, the Springdale Taco Tour, Team Springdale at its best. Um, what an incredible day. You took us to some really fantastic places. I'm telling you, we've seen, eaten, smelled, tasted things that we've never thought in the world that we could. <laughs> How did that happen? How, uh, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. It's been my pleasure to show you around some of the just treasures that Springdale has. I mean, they're all over the place. And you in Northwest Arkansas, as residents, citizens, people that love food, do yourself a favor, do your families a favor, and do Springdale a favor. Come out to the Springdale Taco Tour. Amber Paradin, thank you so much. You, we'll do it again soon. Yes, let's please do. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in to Case in the Joint.